Okay, today we're gonna take a look at the laboratory. This is the experimental mod testing world. Um, this one was the first one that was primarily done by Shiki, CDP, and Tassati. Um, the three of those were the major contributors for the, the base building here. This was the first world where Sola said, I will not build again after the mod world who can blame him. <laughs> But this is one of my favorite worlds. We come on here and we mess with stuff. This is where you go to try to break things. And the thing with this world is it has done some amazing things. Oh, Lordy. Now, as you know, we play various different things. Um, we like to play different characters. For me, the main two I play are Willow and Wendy. Um, though I will not shy away from playing anybody. Um, and we have a gobbler here. Everybody just loves the way he trills. Doesn't he sound fantastic? So we had recently been testing some ownership mod type things um, when doing stuff for the dedicated server and things like that. Um, as you can see, this stuff was built by Solarath, and, and so it belongs to him. And then this one is regular. This was one we were doing, you know, with the mod. This one was done without the mod. This was one we were testing. See, we can modify the ownership on here. Um, it's a lot of different things. We were trying to see if you could break things or if you could, you know, repair them or fix them. Now, I'm going to do this right quick. That way I don't have to worry about um, paying attention to any of that stuff. I should have learned better on most of my other uh, VODs, right? <laughs> okay, so this is where... Um, CDP did some lovely decorations over here for us with the harvesting racks. Um, and this place started out as a tiny little base again. Now this was meant for everybody to live in, of course. This one started out from the get-go as a cooperative base. Um, but the design of it is one of my favorites because it's so haphazard. And you'll hear me say that a lot. This is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. Well, everything has is like my favorites for various reasons. Um, this is our glomer, you know, sanctuary. This is where we come and bow down to the great glomer. We also have some Christmas trees over here. Now, those of you who remember the Christmas event will know that we were unable to sleep under these trees because we planted these and did them when the patch first came out. Our world was actually in summer. Um, and it was before they added the ability to get the straw roll and sleep under it to get presents. So these have never been able to, to sleep under, but they're, of course, kept here because we had them. And see, this has a lot more decorative aspects to it than most of them do nowadays. Nowadays, everything looks like ramshackle and running all over the place. I'm trying to, you know, to, to spice up some of the bases that I've been building. <laughs> Um, but this one is where our bushes are. Here's where our grass is. Here's where you see, you know, here's our twigs. Now, with this one, um, this is where the gobbler event was. That was as much as we did. We built that thing, and that was it, because from the moderator world, we learned better. But we had it there for, again, testing purposes. Um, you know, got some pig king right here, because we love this guy. And if you take a look, this area is quite big. Um, now, this area down here that we're going into is where the zoo is down here. Uh, we really liked a lot of the zoo ideas. As you can see in almost all of my bases, I end up sticking some kind of critter somewhere. There has to be animals all around. Uh, that's to be said in my games and in my real life, you know, surrounded by cats, kids, and dogs, right? So my grandma used to say, I don't know. But anyway, um, so here's our koala fence. In here, it is a little bit different. We do have them separated. The deer are over on the other side. I'll show you in just a moment. This is um, an empty pen here, but this is where our pig houses are. Um, they hang out in there all by themselves quite happily, even on full moons. We don't really mess with them very much. This is where the, oops, this is where the no deer are. These guys hanging here. See, we've got new ones in here as well. This this area is just huge and fantastic for having a bunch of animals in it. Um, I put stone walls so that they don't burn in the summertime. You know, other than that, I really don't have to do a whole lot with them up here. You see this the um, the salt licks. There's not really any salt licks up here because they're not necessary. Nobody really comes up here as much. 
um, as they do on some of the other worlds because most of the other worlds, my um, zoos and things are in my base. Um, with this right here, this used to be the slurper den. We've had three different slurpers in here and something befalls them every single time. Um, they've got killed by cat coons, you know, different stuff like that. So it's been really sad. So we gave up on those guys. But this is really all that we have in this world. This world is one of the smaller ones um, that we really haven't done on. Like I said, this is a testing world. So we don't play play on this world, but I've been debating it. This is, you know, the cave entrance, which again is fairly close to the base. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same way the other one is. The moderator worlds, they're set in the same way. But see, look down here, there's even less. There's not even a crock pot down here. We would all die of starvation. But, you know, the purpose it serves is for us to come on here and to see if we can break things without destroying a world that we actually, you know, play with or are in love with. Now, the problem is, is we're in love with this world as well. So what are we going to do, huh? <laughs> I will see you guys on the flip side once again with another tour. Bye, everybody.